Hello, I'm Robin and I'm a normal alcoholic. What does it mean to hit rock bottom and what will yours be? This is one of the classic phrases that everyone's heard, but unless you've been through it yourself, it's very hard to explain. Most people will think it's the time in someone's life that they've lost so much that they suddenly decide to stop drinking or using. It will sound something like this. My partner left me. I lost my job. I couldn't afford to pay the rent. I ended up living in a hostel or on the streets, etc, etc. But for the vast majority of people, this isn't the case. It's not necessarily about the superficial situation that you've ended up in. It's more about what's going on in here and, and how you feel. A recurring theme when I talk to people about this is that they don't necessarily want to die, but they just don't want to keep living, at least not in the way that they are at that moment. Or at least that's the best way I can describe it for me. The moment you hit your rock bottom, it's when you're so fed up of the way you feel that you'll do anything to change it. Whereas before you would have done pretty much nothing. But in that moment, something inside says, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to try something different. And the best thing you can do in that moment is ask for help. Swallow your pride, accept that you have failed and ask for help from someone else. If all you do is try and get yourself out of that situation, you'll most likely fail because you're the person that got you there in the first place. That addict part of your mind will always be there trying to drag you down you'll probably just hit a new, deeper rock bottom. So you don't have to lose your partner, your job, your home. You can make this choice at any stage you want to. One thing that gets said in recovery is it's like being on an elevator that's going down. You can get off at any floor. You don't have to go any lower. So whatever you think a rock bottom might be, you don't necessarily have to go there. It doesn't have to be, you know, some dark night passed out in an alleyway at whatever time in the morning. You could have your moment of realization sitting in the sun on a beautiful day on a, a trip to the seaside. Now, I'm not expecting anyone to watch this video and go, wow, what great advice. I never realized that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop now and I'm going to turn my life around. <laughs> I mean, I must have heard this kind of advice so many times before I actually came to my realization and hit my rock bottom. I know it takes addicts a lot more than some guy saying, you can do it. However, what I do hope from this video is that when you've had enough of what you've been putting yourself through, you remember that you're not alone. You don't have to save yourself by yourself. There are so many people out there just like you. Not just now, but people who've already been through it, people who are literally waiting to help you. There's people that work in organizations waiting for you to walk through that door. There's people manning phone lines waiting for you to make that call. So all you have to do is walk through that door or pick up that phone. The rest will be history. 
whatever you choose to do, just don't do it alone. I've made another video, link below, uh, about the different ways, different places, different people that can help you when you decide you want it. Otherwise, uh, various of my other videos will help you at different stages or with different aspects of coming to terms or dealing with alcoholism. Check them out too. But for now, bye. Thank you.